Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Can you do Facebook? Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. How is everybody doing? We'll give YouTube a few minutes to notify people. Alexis, I mean, Angela, can you do uh, Facebook? I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, but I got to get my... Here's a... I got to get my... Here's a... I got to get my... Hold on. Hello. Hey, Alexis. Hey, welcome, Hello. everybody. We are still trying to get the technical difficulties going. <laughs> Get them fixed over here. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. I am Kimmy, one of the Notary Educator Trainers also. Um, so I will let um, Angela and Alexis introduce themselves while I tell my sister I'm live. I'm Angela with AJ Mobile Notary, part of Notary Educators. Welcome, welcome. We're happy to have you guys on with us tonight. Yes, and my name is Alexis with Alexis Notary Services, also part of Notary Educators. And welcome. Hello, everybody. I hope you all having a good week. Yes, welcome, welcome. So we got quite a few people on. We'll just say hey to a few people. Welcome to those who will join us on the replay. Um, those who will um, catch it on the podcast. And let's see. Hey, Tanisha, what's going on? Tracy, Elizabeth, Forbidden Flower, Dorinda, what's up? What's up? And Oni, welcome, people. Welcome. How is everyone? So we thought we would just do a just an open topic, no whatever. Um, hey, Stacy K, what's going on with you? Florida's in the house. Latoya, hey, V Haggard. Yeah, we thought we would just come on and do an open. Robin is a newbie. Welcome. Thanks for the permission. Welcome, yeah, come Robin. on. Afrika is in the house. Yeah, so we are talking today, guys, about what's going on in these notary streets. What's up? What's up? Let's talk about it. So what are you all hearing? How is your business going? Um, Robin, H-Town, what's up? What's up? Hey, Ansley. Yeah, what's going on in your businesses? What questions do you have? We're just trying to, you know, be open and talk about what's up because we're hearing a lot of stuff as we even watch other YouTubers. A lot of conversation about pricing, a lot of conversation about training. And I don't want you all to be discouraged by what's going on. There is still a lot of work. There always will be. This industry is not new. Has it changed a little bit? Yes, it has. Many of you are doing amazing things over in our Notary Educators Facebook group. We can see it. Um, hey, Regina and um, also Roberta, welcome. Yeah, we can see you guys are making some strides. Many of you are getting your first assignments. And we know that that's taking you some months. Perhaps it's because you had to get your supplies and your equipment together. Maybe you had to get your mental state together. Some of you just um, completed some training and still working on that confidence. But we do see that you are accepting assignments and you're putting it in there. I got my first assignment. So we just wanted to add a little infusion and just kind of talk about what's going on, kind of encourage you to continue Angela constantly reminds me, hey, Kim, it's fourth quarter. Fourth quarter tends to be a little slower in all industries, but we don't want you all giving up on yourselves or your businesses. You've invested too much. Angela and Alexis, what's your thoughts on what's going on in the industry as a whole, your mindset, what you're seeing, what you're hearing as you do intake calls and talk to people? Yeah, a lot of different people are starting up. And let me go back a little bit. We had spoke not too long ago and we're talking about, you know, fourth quarter, how it was slow and everything. And right after Thanksgiving, pick right back up. So 
this that's this business. I think that's businesses in general. I haven't had my hands in a lot of other different businesses, but this in in general is definitely you know ups, um, and I don't want to say downs, but you know slower periods. And yeah, when people are calling me, whether that's uh, clients or other fellow notaries or people who want to take classes or training, a lot of people are starting. That's the consistency I'm getting across the board. A lot of people are starting and it's a lot of money to be made out here. So I tell people, come on over notary educators. We're going to get you all squared away and start it up the right way. Yeah. Yeah, like Kim says, I'm always, you know, reminding her that it's fourth quarter. Every company I ever worked for, business is really slow. That's the time when a lot of people even take vacation because business is slow. Uh, my business has been slow, really, to be honest with you. I am a little busy, but I'm only a little busy because, and Kim will tell you this, most of my customers are repeat customers right now. There are people that I've already done business with that are calling me, uh, you know, because they have closings or they have deeds or whatever paperwork they have. So most of them really are business people who have business documents. So, uh, yeah, I haven't been getting any a lot of just Google my business um, calls from Google. Most of them are repeat customers, fortunately. And at the end of the year, really what's interesting is apostilles do pick up for whatever reason at the end of the year. So I've been a little busy with that. But business, the regular notary business, general notary work is slow at the end of the year, like any other business. But one thing I want to yeah, add to that, are... so what I've been working mm -hmm. on, I've been, I've been really working on the administrative part of my business. I've been getting my business in line for my taxes. I've been, you know, going over my business for what I plan to do next year and how I plan to uh, continue to work my business next year. So that's what I've really been working on, administrative task in my business, organizing everything that's behind. So that's what I've been doing. Yes. And we're going to talk about what to do with this time that we do have, this extra time. I wanted to hit some of these comments, too, because as I stated um, when I first started tonight, our people are doing amazing. I mean, it ain't like um, four years ago, but, but people are really doing some things. The Forbidden Flower says she got two more vehicle inspections. That's why we always talk about having multiple streams, multiple ways of making mm -hmm. money, not just only stamping documents. As a notary, mm -hmm. there's so many different things you can do. And I am going to redo that video. I have one out there now, 12 ways, but now I think it's almost 20. So I'm going to uh, redo that video that I have. Um, but she actually had some yesterday she talked about because I went live yesterday also. And um, she got two more. She said during the live <laughs> while she was watching it. So congratulations on that. So Elizabeth said that she started her business. Um, she has her name, logo, LLC, bank account, but she just still feels nervous to get started. So we still see a lot of that. Elizabeth, we may need another conversation. If we haven't already spoken with you, if you've not taken some training that may be able to help you with that. Um, I do want to double back to training. Let me hit a few more comments here. Um, I hit something to put the comments on the screen. Let me see. Can that? Okay, cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see what I hit. And then let's see. The Forbidden Flower says go this weekend or next is to get the Google My Business Profile set up. Yes, if you need some help with that, you can check out Alexis' self-paced course. And I have several videos for free on my channel. And then Alexis offers one-on-one -on -one for that also, okay? Uh, Robin says, all above is happening. She's hearing things, hearing a lot of fourth quarter slowness. Yeah, because people are vacationing. People are um, just in chill mode, hanging with the family if they're not traveling. I just saw something the other day. Cruises have picked up like crazy this year. They, I forgot what they called mm -hmm. it, but people had like a fever almost from the last few years of not being able to travel. And this is the first year everyone's feeling more comfortable with everything. And they're just getting out living life more. So, you know, you can expect that they're <laughs> sometimes putting necessary business on hold to enjoy a little bit of life. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's nothing right. wrong with that if you can afford to do it. It's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. 
Latoya says Notary Rotary just sent her an email saying that they're canceling the basic plan. Now I may have to pay a larger monthly fee. So Latoya, I don't use Notary Rotary. If you find that you're getting business with them, continue paying it. But if you're not, that's where you have to do a, a exam in that business, your business model. And if you're not actually getting any money from them, it may not be worth any customers, rather any clients. It may not be worth it. Do you guys have Notary Rotary? I've never could sign up for the free plan. I know at one time they used to have a free plan, but I never, when I tried to sign up for it, it would always say um, no space is available or something. So I never was able to sign up for it and I do not pay them monthly. Uh, Angela or Alexis, do you guys have Notary Rotary? No, just Google. Yeah, so just be no. cautious, Latoya, because there's a lot of junk. Um, not that notary uh, rotary is junk, but a lot of services yeah. and signing people, you know, companies saying sign up with me, we can get you to work, sign up, you know, junk fees, junk offers. Just be cautious. And again, if you not if you find that you're not actually benefiting, you have to look at your subscriptions that you have out there. This is a good time to do that. We're gonna talk about some things you could be doing while it's a little slower too. We'll talk about that in just a sec a second. Let me get a couple more of these comments. Anything in Facebook, Alexis or Angela? I can't see the Facebook comments. I don't think okay, there's anyone from Facebook, but I don't see any. All right. Um, Nona says she took her oath today. Congratulations. 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 JB says, hey, Janine from Indiana. I've only had two notary jobs since October. However, I see other notaries are very busy. Yeah, and it's going to be depending a lot of, like Janine said, some people are busier than others. It's going to be depending on where you live at, how much you're marketing, how much you're out there. Um, I always give the suggestion of extending your hours, but we'll get to some some things you can do in the meantime. Hold on one second. I just want to hit some more of these comments. And then we're going to give you some solutions to, or some things to think about and work on while it's slower. One sec. Dorinda says, would like some recommendations for reputable inspection agencies. I'm hearing some great agencies are looking for a lot of closing experience, but I am not discouraged. I'm I'll, I'm building out my specialty for inspections. Like um, Metro, I would say Metro, and they they don't tend to pay like a signing service would pay, but Metro, and the only reason I mention them because I don't usually name drop here. Metro inspections are very, very notary friendly. They love when you guys reach out. So I hope they haven't changed. <laughs> but Metro usually doesn't mind um, uh, recommendations. So Metro Inspections is one that I can tell you about. Okay. Um, the toys is finding a lot of folks calling to do jobs, but then they back out at the last minute. Any, any tips you guys could provide on how to maybe close more of the sales for LaToya? Angela or Alexis? I, I find out when when um, when people back out, it's probably because they've called other notaries and you know quoted a price, and somebody may say, "I'll do it for this much." I have people call, call me and want notaries, and they'll text me, said, "You know they're canceling the appointment." So they, I think that's just really part of the industry, where sometimes they'll call and they'll say, "Well, I don't need your services. I'm sorry," or "I found someone else." So that's just normal for me. That to me, that's normal. Yeah, Alexis, I get the calls. You know, found somebody else, or maybe it's something kind of on their end, like they don't have whatever together. Maybe they don't have a witness, or maybe they don't. Um, maybe they don't have the correct documents or something like that. That's another reason why people cancel a lot. So I just tend to just when I'm getting off the phone, and I know you know it didn't end in. A scheduling an appointment or even maybe you know they call me back and say hey i don't need you anymore or whatever i just end it pleasantly like okay if you need me i'm more than happy to assist you right. remember i come to you you know something like that to make them want to come mm -hmm. back to use my mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i totally agree because i'm hearing a lot now people saying well i want to start getting uh charging them on a fee because they're canceling or you know something to make them commit i don't like to do that because if you don't want my service, I don't want to be bothered with you either. <laughs> but we're going to do it nicely, right? But I'm, I don't want to kind of strong arm them into, I have to use her now because I gave her a $15 deposit. 
And I also am of, of the mindset that I'm not going to be refunding mm-hmm. you, you know, all day long because people have the right to choose. Right. They have the right to cancel. I'm not going to be sitting here all day long sending back $10 or them leaving me a bad Google review because that leaves a bad taste in people's mouth a lot of times. When you, How do you feel when you go to the mm-hmm. doctor or you make an appointment and for some reason you can't keep it? And now it is industry standard with doctors that they will charge you a $25 no-show fee. That's that's standard, right? Mm-hmm. But in our industry mm-hmm. as notaries, as of yet, that's not the standard. And if you implement that, and I'm not saying you can't because you get the right to run your business how you want to, but if you implement that, it will leave a bad taste in people's mouth. It really does. I just always say, try to run your mm-hmm. business in such a way that we don't have to come across desperate if you want my services, I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. I provide quality, but I'm not going to beg you. I'm not going to haggle with you. You know what I mean? So, and I'm not going to strong arm you either. Mm-hmm. Like you leave me a deposit or else. Well, if that person doesn't come through, someone else will. Well, I find it happens. Sometimes it might be better. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've had that happen before. Somebody canceled and then I get an apostille. I'm like, oh. Good thing that didn't work out because they got me all tied up for twenty dollars, right. and I could be over here, right? You know, so that has happened right. too. So it's just the cost of doing business. It's just one of those things that comes with being a business owner. It's not gonna always work out for whatever reason. Um, Tracy says she's been doing a lot of loan modifications. Excellent, Tracy, get it, girl. Roberta says she's a newbie in Alabama, haven't started, just waiting on her stamps. Very good, very good. Afrika says in Florida um, to renew NSA, do I need to do, do I need to redo the course or just the background check? I looked it up and most companies says recommended but not required to redo the course. Uh, Alexis, you want to handle that? Actually, yeah, Alexis, you, you want to do the next two comments, Afrika and Rara? What, um, I was. I had Facebook up. Where where are we at? What what's the time? Seven forty. Okay. Okay. I got it. So, Africa, you don't have to redo the class as long as you, you know you feel good. You understand everything. No, just do the background check and retake the exam, and you're good to go for another year. And then, rah rah. Oh, Google. So Google is an hour for eighty nine dollars. That's for Google, to set up your Google page. So if you do need assistance or how to maximize it, if you need to set it up for McGinnis in, or if you have it set up, you just need, you know, to figure out why you're not attracting clients or something, our session is 89. Very good. Very good. And we also are doing Google review. I mean, um, website review. So if you have a website and you're not getting any clients, let us take a look at it. And it might be that we can help you, you know, do some search engine optimization to get those keywords in there. Maybe if does your website look like a, like we say over here, a dry piece of toast or an edible arrangement? You know, it might need that you need a little tweaking there. So feel free to take advantage of some of the um, services that we offer mm-hmm. to kind of help you to build out your business. OK, um, a couple more things and then we're going to give you some tips. Yes, Alexis. I was going to say one more. Um, I see it down a little bit. It's still about Google, so I was just going to hit it real quick. Sharon Robinson says, does anyone use Google Ads? I'm curious about the cost. Google Ads is amazing to me. I used it. Um, and you can set your own cost monthly. And it's pay per click. So it doesn't guarantee that you'll get a call. It just, you know, you pay based off of whoever clicks on the ad and views, you know, your Google page. But I did use it and I did see a boost in phone calls when I first started out. I don't use it anymore. I just use it to get going. Yes, I've used it too. I totally agree. If you And if you actually are just getting started, it's an excellent way to get on the top of Google. Eventually, we want you to be what we call the three-pack organically in mm-hmm. Google, organically. So what do I mean by organic? You're not paying for it. You're, mm-hmm. you're ranking high in your area because you have a lot of reviews because they can tell that Google can tell, okay, yeah, I see none better over there. I see AJ Mobile Notary. I see Alexis Notary Services. They can see that clients are clicking on your page. They're liking your services. Your page is nice. They can tell all that. Do you have keywords in your pages? 
you know, and I think we mentioned it. Angela wasn't here, but we all about a month ago, if not longer now, actually have websites instead of just a landing page. So I think we all saw a little increase in our business just from upgrading from a landing page, the free one that Google has, to the GoDaddy is the one that we actually use, Alexis and myself. And Angela hired someone to do her page. But Alexis and I do um, GoDaddy, and we can actually build you out a website too. So just check it out at, um, again, notaryeducatorsllc.com. So I wanted to go over a few things that you can be doing in the meantime while it is a little slower period to kind of get ready for this business to do what you needed to do. One of the things that we mentioned earlier, we were talking is about subscriptions. Now's the time to kind of look at what subscriptions you're paying for regarding the notary space. Is it actually making you money or is it just something you set and forgot? That happens even with regular things. You could have Netflix, Hulu, um, uh, uh, Paramount, all these different subscriptions that you're paying for. You never watch those channels. You never watched anything on those channels, but you just set it and forget mm -hmm. it. So do that in your notary business. Check your expenses, like Angela was saying. This is a good time. I'm, I'm actually getting ready to take, to take a day and start working on taxes for next year because I, I have got to do that. Um, what else do you guys financially, do you all think that people could be working on now, Alexis and Angela, while business is a little bit slower to take advantage of this time? Making sure your records are in order. I have a bad habit. <laughs> And I, I'm being honest. <laughs> I have a bad habit of not filling in everything um, on my notary journal because I'm like, oh, I'll do it. You know, I have their information. Like I have their um, address and phone number in my uh, notary, not my notary, in my phone already. So I'm like, when we text, you know, and I got the address from them when I'm setting up the appointment and stuff, I have it on my phone. So when I'm with them, sometimes, whether it's me or was it whether it's them, something holds us up a little bit. I'm like, okay, I'll skip that part and get back to it. And then I don't get back to it. So I took a day this week and caught myself up from doing that. And it took a while because I don't have everybody's numbers saved. So I had to look through each text and fill in the information. So just little stuff like that. Just don't do what I do. <laughs> but if it has happened, make sure you get that information in that journal. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, Angela, did you have anything else? Making sure your supplies are together. Making sure you download your acknowledgments, your address, your bag is in order. This is a good time. You know how we clean out our purse, like usually in the spring and in the winter, we take time to clean out mm -hmm. our purse and get all that junk out. Clean out your notary bag. Make room for new stuff. You know, clean out your notary mind. Get rid of some old thinking. Angela, did you have some things you wanted to add? I was about to mention that I just did that last week because I went somewhere and I did not have a an extra um, acknowledgement page. Fortunately, I had the stamp. And so I just looked through my notary black, organized, reorganized it, cleaned it out. I bought a new notary bag a couple of months ago and I'm kind of not liking it. So I'm trying to decide, you know, I thought it would be great because it has more pockets. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. So I'm really organizing my notary life, my business life, because I made an appointment. Things like I called the tax guy last week, made an appointment because this is tax season. And so with my tax guy, it's like I forgot to make the appointment. So I'm like, let me make an appointment before I don't have one. Last year, he had to give me an extension because he didn't have any appointments. So fortunately, this year I got one in April, like the beginning of April. So things like that. Now I'm working on making sure everything for every month, all of my taxes are together. So when I go to him, I can just give him, you know, the spreadsheet. He can do it. And I'm also just thinking about I'm actually sitting around thinking about, you know, how to make my business better, what things I need to do uh, to be better to my clients, what things I need to do just to expand my business to even more things that I may possibly be able to do. So I'm working on my 2024 business. Yeah, I have a few videos that I'm going to be putting out about taxes. Um, it might even be a live, but either way, you guys will get the information and things that you need to start preparing closer to the time. Um, it's a, I got a few things I've been working on too in my own business. A lot of things to help you all out. I'm hearing so many questions and it's things that I honestly thought I had covered. 
I mean, we talk about so much and I have like over 400 videos, over 500 actually, almost 600. And I still realize it's a lot of things that I still have yet to cover or things are coming up daily. Things are just changing. So something else I put on here, for, I put a few notes. Again, we want to leave you with something practical. Um, Angela and Alexis, I know I told you guys 30 minutes. So if you got to go, please feel free to, to do so. Because I have about three more things, three or four. Um, the other one is um, the first of the year, people start doing a lot of business. Things start shaking and moving. So you want to be prepared when that happens. What does that look like? Now is the time to start taking your training to make sure that you know how to properly notarize documents. And it's a lot of slack out there now in the YouTube world. Well, trainers are just making a living off of people. No, if you don't know how to notarize, you have to go to someone. You have to find someone that you can trust to help you because the states do not provide any training. A lot of people will tell you, well, just go figure it out. You can just wing your way or you know, just kind of figure it and it, it'll just happen. You don't have to pay anyone for training. That is so not true. You could either self-teach and you could take time and years and all that to do your craft, to be excellent, or you can do the express way and that's to pay people who've already did that, you know, who already went through making all the mistakes and overcoming it when it was a time when things were more plentiful. And they didn't get on you as bad. Because now if you make a mistake, it's so many notaries. Okay, you out. But we can help you to bypass some of that. So I'm going to push back when I hear all this negativity about trainers. You do have to select wisely. But we've been here for years. So I can highly recommend notary educators. Someone actually is in the um, chat saying that they took the Notarized Like a Pro and the Specialty General Notary course. And it was great. I appreciate it, Roberta that it was very clear in your ex in our explanation. So we teach everything very, very clear. You don't have to wonder what are we talking about? What's going on? No secrets, no secrets, okay? So invest in some training. Go ahead, let's get you started for the first of the year because these documents and nothing to stop it. They're still going down right now, actually. Notarization still happen all day. And the spring is coming. People are buying and selling properties all day long, you know? They wait till they get their income tax and they start mm -hmm. moving and shaking it. You know, we're like kind of like bears. We go into hibernation in the winter and come out in the spring and and things start happening. You know, like Yogi Bear. I don't know if you guys are um, remember Yogi Bear, <laughs> mm -hmm. but he used to hibernate and then he'd come out and he'd do his little stretch and all that. So we're like that <laughs> in the winter time. Don't nobody want to be moving. Don't nobody want to be bothered with all that kind of stuff. But when that sun start popping around February, March, usually like March, April, people start getting their income tax. Things are going to be jumping and you want to be ready. Now's the time to start building out your business. Get your training. Get your Google page set up. Learn how to do our post deals. You know, learn how to market. Now's the time because when it when it go down, you don't want to be like, oh man, I knew I should have took Kimmy's class. Mm -hmm. I knew Alexis could have helped me. I should have got with Angela. You don't want to be shoulda, coulda, woulda. You want to be already doing it, okay? Because um, I mean, I'll um, let Angela so add something. And I had one thing I wanted to add. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say this. You know, uh, I had a client earlier, and actually Kim met me to meet this client. And this is how important training is because he had a document that needed to be notarized and then it needed to be apostille because it was going to India. And so he, when he came and he signed it, the document, he really didn't have everything he needed. He didn't tell me everything he needed, but I was like, you know, Mr. Mac, you got this, you need this, you need this. And Kim looked at him and he was like, looked at her. He's like, I knew she would be able to handle it or take care of everything I needed. You know? So I'm saying that to say, you have to know what's required if a document needs to be notarized. It's more sometimes, a lot of times, than just having them sign it and you stamping it and sign it. So you need to know how to properly notarize documents. And you can't know that without training. You can't wing it. Because if I had done it wrong, it would not have been accepted at the apostille. And then it would have been late going to India because he want to send it, you know, to my first thing tomorrow morning. So you have to know how to properly notarize documents. Yes, you do. You really do. I'm going to hit a few of these comments really quick. Um, Really quick. Let's see. We got Roberta's. Okay, we did that one. 
the standard price for loan modification is going to just depend on area and everything right now, Tracy. I've seen them as low as $20, still up to $90. So that's really just going to depend on your area. There is no set standard price in this industry. Um, so you just have to kind of, you know, see if it's a good fit for you and your business model, whatever they're offering. Um, Roberta said it made it easy. The course was easy for her to understand. They're thinking Alexis. Let's see. Um, what about building a website? Yes, this, that's what we were talking about earlier. We are now offering that service. Um, if you would like to use GoDaddy or you know, eventually now again, don't jump out there getting websites, guys. And we don't have our training yet because we don't want to get the car and we don't have a driver's license. Okay, so let's let's kind of pump the brakes a little bit. Let's see what we need to do. Let's map it out, map it out. Stacy says, today I had a seller's package for one of my clients. She was a seller and called me to be the notary signing agent. Thank you for the training, notary educators. Oh, it's our pleasure, Stacy. Get it? Yes. We're happy for you guys. That's why I said I know it may seem slow sometimes, but you guys are doing some amazing things. If you're not part of the notary educators Facebook group, please join and you can see what's going on over there. As I was stating last night, we're not always able to answer every single thing ourselves, but our group is amazing and they help each other. People want to know, what color business card should I pick? How's my uniform? That's the kind of thing that you could put over in a Facebook group, and people love helping. Um, do you use Notary Gadget Journal? Yeah, not the journal function. No, I use it for the the bookkeeping fa- um, part of it. I'm a little old-fashioned. I like to write my, my journal, write in my journal, so I don't do anything digitally with my journal. I didn't even know they had a journal feature. Do you use that, Angela? Is that new? You know, I'm I'm all about Excel. I don't use any Notary Gadget journal. I use my journal in Excel. You don't use Notary Gadget at all. I no. It was easier for me to. Uh, I went from my Excel sheet to Notary Gadget for one year. Then I went back to my Excel sheet because for me, my Excel sheet was easier for me. Yeah, 99% of people will tell you Notary Gadget because I like the fact it creates reports for you. Um, I could not live without it. Alexis also had to start using it. So I do have a, um affiliate link with them. So you can check it out at notaryeducatorsllc.com under Notary Supplies, I believe it is. But you definitely want to get an accounting system as you start doing more and more um, signings. You can even break it down from general notary, ink fingerprinting, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. So check it out. Um, Dorinda says, I want to learn the most about efficient ways and tools for social media content. Need more autopilot methods, Canva planable. Asking you all the experts. Yes, Dorinda, you should definitely do that. And those are the ways that we do it. We use Can- Canva and we use planable. That's exactly what we use. Um, we may need to add that for 2024. Alexis and Angela, if you remind me, like sessions to have with people to get that created for them as I'm sitting here thinking, because a lot of people do need help even setting it up. So, um, but once you get that, that's an investment and it planable will allow things to just go out automatically. And we're almost done here. Um, so yeah, but that's exactly how you would do it, Dorinda, using planable to schedule it and Canva to make your, um, your <clears throat> items. Okay. We appreciate you all too. Thanks to render. Appreciate it. Stacy says she's just work, working on our goals for 2024. We will have another session where we all could talk about that. The, the tax information is coming, JB. Mr. Oscar looks like um, Colorado Mobile Notary Store is alive. Congratulations. Things are fi- in fire. He said on fire in Colorado. Okay. Get it, Mr. Oscar. Right, yes, Oscar. We are definitely going to talk about this. Uh, Alexis looks like you have an appointment with somebody tomorrow. They are saying hello, hello. They're looking forward to it. Des, Des. <laughs> yeah, Destiny. Hey, Althea. Uh, Stacy, yes, it will rock your world. I will say, unfortunately, all trainers are not the same quality and motive. I appreciate this team. Yes, love Yogi and Boo Boo. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, there is. <laughs> That's so funny. But we appreciate you all too. Um, and we're so proud of you. Seriously, we're not just saying that. Stacey Ann do her wedding officiant thing, her her partner. She got a partner. Um, one thing can lead to another. I'm so proud of them and the team that they've created. Uh, maybe one yeah. day she'll feel comfortable to come share 
how they form that bond and what they're doing together, her and a fellow notary. It's a very beautiful relationship they have. A uh, couple more things. We'll get ready to get out of here. Um, Ani says she got a few callbacks about quick deeds. Yeah, but that's how it starts. It, it may not even come nice. to anything that mm -hmm. day, but they'll call you. Mm -hmm. Just be nice. Set the set the mm -hmm. put the seed out there. It'll grow. Um, such a motivator. Mm -hmm. Oh, I try to be, and I thank you. Y'all motivate me too. Angela said, "What additional items did Angela? This is for you. What additional items did your client need for the notarization slash apostille?" So this di this document was apparently created in India and it was emailed to him. So it was different than what the normal um, document looked like that you have to notarize. And so he needed his picture. It was funny. He needed his picture on the document. He also needed a fingerprint. But if you didn't really pay attention, you wouldn't have known that he needed a fingerprint. And so if he would have if he would have gotten the document. Um, apostille and sent it to India, it would have been void because it, it had to have everything. As a matter of fact, while we were waiting for him, he got a phone call and they were telling him to make sure he had this, that, sign the pages. But he that's when he told Kim, when I told him, Mr. Mack, you need a fingerprint on here. And he told Kim, I knew she would have know everything what to do. I had my fingerprint stuff in my bag, was able to do that uh, glue stick. He glued the picture on there and I was able to take care of everything he needed so I, that's why we tell you you don't remember uh notary certificates they are all different you'd have to read and see what is required and make sure you fill in whatever needs to be there and be open to learn from even your clients i have learned several things from my clients like um using zale the qr code for zale the qr reader so i don't have to type it in there i told my client i didn't know how to do it he was like oh you're gonna know in a minute <laughs> Right. So anyway, but Angela's client today, that's why I thought about this. Her client was doing uh, um, where he had to attach not only his um, thumbprint, but he also had to attach a small photo to his um, power of attorney or whatever it was. And he had a glue stick because I had tape. I was going to go get my tape on my notary bag, but I don't carry a glue stick. So now he gave me a glue stick, y'all. And he glued, glued the picture onto the little application. And I told him, I said, mm -hmm. hey, I just got a tip from you. I'm going to share it with my fellow notaries. So carry you a mm -hmm. glue stick because a lot of times you will get those passport applications and they will need to have the little small two by two picture attached to the application. So instead of taping it, you can glue it on the back. It just looked neater. Now, that was a requirement for India. It may not be locally, but it just made it look neater. So I will be adding the glue mm -hmm. stick that he gifted me along with a cup of coffee yeah, he, <laughs> he bought us coffee, coffee this morning me and angela because i had to go do the apostille for myself i had an apostille so i took angela's down for her this morning mm -hmm. so that's how she and i actually end up working together today um that's why you need your notary buddy last couple things that we're going to head out of here so angela and alexis don't kill me um forbidden notary says she's been scrolling for a group and she loves our group so much because it's most engaging and supportive oh well thank you we appreciate it thank and it starts you. at the top it started at the top. So we're going to be respectful to each other. We're going to help each other and help you all. And you, we expect the same. Nobody going to be dogging nobody out and, you know, all that extra. We're we not going to have it because you will be blocked really quick. <laughs> we will have order. Yes. <laughs> all right. So what's your thoughts on keeping records on Snap Docs? I don't do it. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't. I don't have. I just use the one notary gadget. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Let's clarify. Only because if you... I don't know if you purchased the loan signing or anything. So I do mention using snap docs to put in different loan signing um, assignments that you get. But I'm saying it in a sense that you want it to keep tally and show how many you've done, like on your profile. So I'm not saying use it to really keep your record. I use outside third party notary gadgets. I just, I just put assignments in there. So it can tally up and see that I'm doing something in the field. Oh, that's Just true. So let's let's clarify that even more, Alexa. So because mm -hmm. because if they've been with us for a minute, they know what we're talking about. If they're new, they may not. So what we're saying is in order to get your um, loan signing count up or number of, of things that you've done up in Snap Docs, take your general notary work and put that client's last name i think is the only thing that's required and a phone number is it's, it's only two things that's required i don't remember 
but you want to take your general notary work and you can put it over there to show that you actually know how to notarize and that you have been notarizing doc documents outside of what they may offer you from snap doc snap docs so i hope they added a little bit of clarity yes that's, that's true alexis thank you for clarifying that i do want to just make a couple of announcements really quick and then alexis and angela may have some as we do our little exit here um if you have not signed up and do not know i actually have another youtube channel that i started business life with kimmy and it's all about business so if you have a family member that's doing any kind of business, daycare, lawn care, anything, they're going to benefit from that channel. You as a notary will benefit from that channel, okay? So over there, I bring you business tips over here, but over there I'm able to go even deeper because this channel is directed for notary and notaries only want to hear about notary stuff. But if you want to do like a deep dive into your business and how I run my business, more personal details, it's going to be over there. So that channel is actually doing amazing. I thank you all for your support, but check it out. It's called Business Life with Kimmy. And um, again, you will really enjoy it. And I enjoy filming over there because I can talk about anything. I talk about stuff that I can't even talk about over here sometimes because I, I don't know why. That's another story. I ain't going to hold y'all with all that, but check out Business Life with Kimmy. Okay, Angela, Alexis, and then we will keep it moving. And today is the last day for one on ones at 139. So go ahead and book. Um, great price for all our training. Um, the iPod still is a little different though. So 139 for notarized like a pro one on one session via Zoom not group because we didn't do any group classes this month our group training will not resume probably until um january we'll start back with group training so we're doing one-on-ones right now for 139 you can't beat it right, um angela did you want to talk about anything and the uh, apostille one-on-one is on the last day for 199. I actually had two people text me, email me today and said it wasn't too late. So today is the last day. They both got it. They both paid for it. Last day for 101, notarized like a pro for 139 and the 101 apostille for 199. Okay. So, and don't forget the self paced courses are still on sale, 60% off. Um, coupon code is WIN23. It will be that until the end of the year. Then we'll change out the coupon code and um, and see what else is going on with that. So self-paced would be your notarized like a pro, teach you how to properly notarize your documents, help you overcome some of that fear, the specialty, general notary. You're hearing a lot of talk right now about trust and um, power of attorneys. That course is going to help you to navigate the hospitals and nursing homes. I go over quite a bit of specialty general notary work, giving you the verbiage and what to look for. It's very thorough. So it doesn't cost a lot of money to learn how to actually to get into the specialty side of things. Um, also, that would be your ink fingerprinting and all your other courses. So check those out. Uh, Lexus still has the... Um, uh, Google My Business course and Angela and the loan signing course also. Those are on sale. And then Angela has the Apostille live training or the Apostille uh, recorded self-paced. Okay. Hey, Frank. Guys, hit the like button. Every time I see Frank, that's the only time I think about the like button. Frank, <laughs> hit the like button for me on the Frank. replay. Wherever you are, please hit the like button. Frank, be, Frank, thank you. You need a YouTube channel, Frank. All really? right, everybody. Well, we're going to skedaddle. I do want to say thank you all for rocking with us. As you can see, these notary streets can be challenging right now, but that's not stopping us. We are getting to our final destination, and we're going to be ready for 2024 when it rolls in. And whatever year you're watching this, you want to get ready for the next year, the next day, next hour, next minute, okay? Because we do evergreen content over here. I usually don't even put dates and stuff. So evergreen content is something different. If you want to start a YouTube channel in 2024, check out my book, How to Start Your YouTube Channel. It's not that complicated. 
You can find it at notaryeducatorsllc.com. Well, guys, on behalf of Notary Educators, Notary Life with Kimmy, Healthy Life with Kimmy, and Business Life with Kimmy, <laughs> I'm going to say y'all have a good night, okay? Alexis and Angela, y'all want to say bye? <laughs> bye. See you all. Say bye. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. I have a, I have a, I have a client. I have a client. So okay. I get out. Oh, bye, hon. Thank you. Bye, Lexi. Bye. Okay. Good night, everybody. Hold on. Good night. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel, where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.